Hi, this is Phil Peretz with Nationwide Barcode and Media Media Inc. And we're going to talk about how to create a successful QR code campaign. QR stands for Quick Response. It's a two-dimensional barcode that can be used to store data. Unlike a UPC or an EAN barcode where it only holds numeric data and is database associated, you put data into a QR code. And they can be used to show or direct people to just a lot of raw data or a calendar event or point them to your website. They can make a phone call, send predetermined text messages. You can link them to your social networking profiles like Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, Google+. Have them do an automatic Twitter tweet or a Facebook like. You can also have them scan the QR code and your business card information is automatically in their smartphone, so it makes it easy for them to call you. According to Comscore, who's a leader in measuring the digital world, in June of 2011, 14 million Americans scanned QR codes. And the exciting part about that is over 54% of those people had a household income above $75,000. That's certainly a lot of discretionary income. Now, there are some rules for QR codes. You want to make sure that they serve a business objective. Make it meaningful. If you're going to add a QR code on your packaging, your flyers, your website, your poster, do it from your client's perspective and make the experience count. Get your landing page to take them to the next step in the business relationship. And you want to have it reciprocal too. You have to, there has to be a purpose for you. If you're not gathering information about your client or furthering the business relationship in some way, it's kind of a waste of time. This can be done by either getting them to sign up for your mailing list, liking your Facebook page, or either learning about your products or making a purchase. You also want to provide contextual assistance. Tell them why they're scanning. Let them know what's going to happen when they scan. Say things like, like our Facebook page, get a discount coupon, get directions to our business, sign up for a contest, our mailing list, download music, send a text. Then you want to make sure it's the right size. Minimum size should be an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter for printed codes because if, if the code's any smaller than that, it's going to become difficult to scan. QR codes were created to make it easy for people to link content, so you want to make it easy for them to scan properly by making them easy to read. You also want to provide multiple paths. See, the QR code is secondary. The primary goal is to get people to respond to your campaign in, in some way. Not everybody has a smartphone, nor do all people who have smartphones have a QR code reader. So it's important to include paths to, your, to get to your campaign. Add the website URL, the printed materials. Web-based materials should have the QR code hyperlinked or near a shortened code that they can either type in or click. And then of course you want to make sure they work. Test your QR code before printing a lot of labels or business cards. Check, double check, triple check the QR code on a variety of smartphones, maybe a couple of different QR code readers. There's a lot of things you can do with QR codes. You can use them in advertising in magazines. Car dealers can use them for after hour shopping by putting a QR code right on the car window. Good for food products. Click on the QR code on, on a food item. Have it go to a recipe or pairing items for, you know, for wine. Exhibits, coupons, direct mail, e-learning. We talked about Facebook likes and linking to social networking. You can have a scavenger hunt. Good for trade shows. Put them on the backdrops. Put them on uniforms. Create a virtual store. Put them in the window displays. In our ebook, we have 75 killer applications. Great ideas of what you can do with QR codes to drive business. Now, this ebook is, is cool. We talk about the three best QR codes for smartphones. We talk about the demographics of people who are scanning these. We go into designing a QR code, how you can add artwork, still make them scan. Some website tips. We talk about the importance of mobile sites. We talk about redirects, how to make a QR code do different things when it's scanned. Then we go into technical information, error correction and size decision factors. We include a copy of Zint Barcode Studio along with both an abbreviated and a full version of the manual. Now to make it easier for you, what we've done is we've created templates. So you copy and paste the template, load it to Zint Barcode Studio, and now you're creating 
QR codes that are your virtual business cards and calendar events and email and Facebook likes and how to connect on Foursquare or Yelp or Google Plus, how to create a Google Map. Just a lot of different templates that you can use to make this program work for you. So the book is only $19.95. It's available from MediaMediaInc.com and NationwideBarcode.com. Like I mentioned, it includes the ebook, the software from Zent, the full and the abbreviated manual. And not only can you create QR codes with Zent software, but you can create up to 50 different other types of barcodes, including UPC and EAN. The purpose of this book is to help you create a profitable and engaging QR code campaign. Again, MediaMediaInc.com or NationwideBarcode.com or pull out your, uh, your smartphone right now, scan the QR code right here, and it'll take you right to my Media Media Inc. website. Thank you very much for your time.